What's going on guys, MakerMods here, back at it again with another new video. Today we're taking a look at a linear switch, the Zakus. Without spoiling the review, let's just say I was shocked by how much I like these switches. And I'm super excited to bring the rundown on these snappy, poppy linears. Let's get started. The Zaku is a long pole linear with a 63.5 gram double or long spring. For those who might be unaware, a long pole switch is one where the stem is extended, leading to an earlier bottom out. For example, the switch stem of a Cherry MX Black is 12.54 millimeters. On the other hand, the stem of a Zaku is 13.47 millimeters. And if you measure just the portion from, let's say the top on a long pole, you're looking at roughly 6.4 millimeters. Whereas on a normal or like a Cherry MX Black style, you're looking at about 5.4 millimeters. So you get that 0.1 extra millimeter travel, which leads to a quicker bottom out and a unique sound. One of the most desirable long pole stem is the Novel Keys Cream. And the cream, for example, has a stem of about 13.41 millimeters. So the Zaku is slightly, very slightly longer pole than even a Novel Keys cream. Looking at just the stem portion of a cream, about 6.4 millimeters. So it's pretty consistent with the Zaku, but the Zaku is even slightly longer pole, but it's, it's by like fractions of a millimeter. The long pole causes a unique sound that has led to many popular Franken switches like Creamsicles, which is a cream stem in a C3 equals tangerine house housing. Cream Pacas, which is a cream stem in a JWK uh, alpaca housing. Here I'm using a Minterly seal switch. And last but not least, the BCP or Black Cherry Pie, which is a cream stem with a nylon cherry top and a JWK H1 bottom housing. On a side note, if you're looking for cream stems to harvest, you can pick up some Kale Blacks, <laughs> which use the same long pole stem mold as the cream. The Kale Black and the cream appear to be very similar, if not identical molds, with even the same tooling marks. They're essentially the same. Although people, some people say that the cream stem sounds better. We're not going to get that far into it, but just something to know. You can pick up Kale Blacks for roughly half the price and you'll get essentially the same switch. Going back to the Zakus, there's definite appeal in the fact that you're getting the long pole goodness of all these Franken switches without making the waste of leftover Franken switch parts that really don't combine into anything special. Like the waste generated from Holy Pandas make a really mediocre linear switch. The same goes for a tangy stem in a cream housing if you were to make creamsicles. And in some cases, when you get really into Franken switching, certain tops and bottoms aren't even compatible. Super scuffed. If you'd like to see a video on different Franken switches, let me know in the comments below. Let's talk specs. The Zaku is a five pin linear switch that is manufactured by Texi and comes with a polycarbonate top, a nylon bottom, a palm stem, and a 63.5 gram long spring. Compared to the spring from the Mauve, you can tell it's pretty much double the length. The long spring is a nice touch, which adds a snappy return and the illusion of a heavier spring. Let's test the spring weight. It seems like the bottom out is actually a little less than 63.5, although they do feel snappy on the return. Yeah, I'd say the bottom out is probably somewhere between 60 and 63.5 grams. Sorry, it's not super exact, but you know, good enough for government work. Now, Zakus are advertised as not coming with any factory lube. However, I did feel lube on the spring. Uh, it's a very light oil, and I also, on some of my switches, it seemed like there was some type of really light oil on the stem sliders. To maximize poppiness and sound, I lubed the switches with Tribosis 3203 over whatever factory lube there was or may have been on the sliders and the contact points. I lubed the bottom housing rails and the rear contact point, the stem, spring contact point, sliders, and rear and front contact point. I avoid the legs, and I also lube the top housing on both of, or I guess all four of the contact points. Now keep in mind, if you lube the top housing, especially where the, the stem hits the top, uh, that will mute the switch quite a bit, especially depending on if you're using a thicker lube like a Crytox 205G0. And so just keep that in mind. It will lead to a more muted sound. 
One thing to mention is that I usually do hand lube my springs in a blend of Crytox and Tribosis, uh, but I found that the stock springs have virtually zero ping, and so I left the springs stock. I also filmed my switches with desk key films. You can pick up Zaku's at Bolsa Supply or also at Ash Keeps out of Canada and Prototypist out of uh, the UK. I have links in the description and I've included some promo codes you can use to save a couple shekels. Uh, note, I'm not affiliated with any of these sites nor any of the codes, but I do believe you're helping some awesome Keep content creators out. Win-win! They go in and out of stock pretty frequently. As you can see, they are out of stock right now, at least out at Bolsa Supply. Uh, so sign up for stock alerts if they aren't in stock, if you want to pick some up, because they do restock pretty frequently. Next, let's go to the sound tests. First, here's a stock Saku with a GMK keycap. This is a R1 GMK keycap from GMK Laser. Next, here is a lubed and filmed Zaku with the same GMK keycap. Just to compare with some of the Franken switches that this should be replacing, here is a Creamsicle. Next, we have a Cream Paca. And last, here is a Black Cherry Pie. Black Cherry Pie. Creamsicle, Cream Paca, and the Zaku. To my ear, filming the switch does reduce some of the reverberance and makes the switch sound a little more refined. Also, it's pretty noticeable that the Zaku's are much louder in their bottom out uh, than any of the Franken switches, which I guess could be either a good or bad thing depending on your preference. Next, let's go to the typing tests. So overall, I'm blown away by the sound and feel of these switches. They're a tiny bit too light for my taste, uh, but that's a me issue, not a problem with the switch. I think Bolsa Supply and Texi have a clear winner in the Zakus, and at 55 cents per switch, these are probably the cheapest and best long pole linear that money can buy. If I had to compare to the Infinity Key Cow Switch, I'm not sure which one I prefer, which is saying something considering I called the Cow my new favorite linear switch. These definitely have found a place in my rotation, and I think they've made a lot of Franken switches obsolete, or at least really not that worth it to make. If you're in the market for some long pole linears, buy these and your wallet and your ears and fingers will thank you. So that's going to be it for today, guys. Hope you guys are having a great holiday season. Please feel free to leave a comment below with any feedback or questions, and let me know if there are any other switches you want me to review. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this review I did of the Infinity Key Cow, another great linear. I'm MakerMods, and I'll catch you in the next video.